Hello everybody, Kevin Lovell here from Nashville, Tennessee. Today we're going to talk about emergency go bags. How will you be prepared to care for a family member, a friend, or a, even a stranger or yourself should an emergency situation come about? On the table I have a few examples of some emergency go bags that I use on a regular basis. I have two small ones here that I use. This one's packed, but you can see how small it is, not very big. And this one's unpacked, and I'll pack that one to show you kind of how you put stuff in and where things can go in these little bags. So this first bag, these are pretty much the same. This one's a little smaller, but you can buy these bags at uh, online at Amazon. Just Google emergency go bag or tactical bag. Unpack, they're, they're pretty cheap. They're probably $30, $20, $30. Uh, you can also get them packed if you want. If you get them packed, they're a little bit more expensive. They can be up to $200 packed or as low as 50 packed with the bag. So whatever you want to do, if you want to get your own bag and pack it how you want it, you can do that. And I'll go over some things that you can put in your bag. In this bag, I have some gauze, just basic gauze. You can get anywhere at Walmart, Amazon, Target, Kroger, wherever you go to get your Band-Aids. You can also get some little gauze pads to go in there. So I've got some gauze pads. I've got some duct tape. I've got some rubber gloves, uh, should I need those. If you're going to work on anybody, I would suggest that you wear some rubber gloves. You don't want to contaminate a family member or get something in your, in, your, in your skin. And also in this bag, I have a few other items that I bought. This is a, a tactical gauze kit. These are really large gauze bags, but they're, they're packed in and they're, they're vacuum sealed. So it's nothing different than what you can buy at Walmart or Target. Just big gauze and you can wrap it around something. This is a hyphen, H-Y-F-I-N, vent uh, seal pack. And this is something, if you come across someone in a car wreck where they're having an open chest wound with it's sucking air out of their chest, you can open one of these up, slap it on there, and it kind of stabilizes them, helps them breathe a little bit better until the ambulance gets there to take care of them. So I'll carry all this stuff in this bag. This bag is pretty much packed with the same thing, just a little bit more gauze, uh, a few more things like scissors, I have some sterile water in there, band-aids, things like that. So to pack these bags, these bags are compartmentalized. There's pockets and there's straps. So to pack these bags, I use the, the bigger pockets for the bigger items. So in the back here, I'll put these big items in this back pocket. And they fit really nicely in there. And then just fold the zipper part over. And that side's ready to go. If I want to put my duct tape in here, there's little straps that I can put my duct tape in and it holds it down and keeps it nice and tight on that side. I have gauze on this side and this strap so I'll put the gauze together just keeping them just keeping them together where they're at and then I put my rubber gloves in here as well. There's a little strap for those. So I've got my my go this I've got this go pack this go backpack fold everything over and zip it up and you're ready to go. You can throw this into your car. Uh, you can throw this into your purse. You can throw this into a backpack. Or you can throw this into a satchel that you carry your laptop or whatever in for work. Not that scientifically, not that expensive, pretty cheap. This one has the medical emblem on the front of it so anybody can see what it is. Remember that whatever you pack in your bag, be able to use it. It doesn't have to be what I have. Of course, I have two. So I have what I showed you in this one, the same things in that one, just some gauze. I have some assorted band-aids in there. I have a little bottle of sterile water, things like that. Anything you can think of to go in your bag is useful. So two small bags you can use. This bag is a little bit bigger, and I carry this bag exclusively at work. So I'll show you what I have in here. In here, I carry Gorilla Tape, a uh, good size Gorilla Tape there. In here I carry wedges, just in case I need to put a wedge in something to keep it open, like a door, a car door, like a window, anything like that you can think to put a wedge in, you might need a wedge. I have a tourniquet, just in case I need a tourniquet or I come across someone in a car crash that's really bleeding from an artery, I can throw a tourniquet on them, wait for emergency medical personnel to get there, and they can take them from there. This can also be used on family, this can be used on friends, and this can be used on strangers you come across. I also have a rope, just in case I need to tie something down, uh, tie something open, whatever I need a rope for. You can think of hundreds of things you use rope for. So I have a good nylon rope 
sturdy, not too big, not, not so much that I can't handle it. Also carry Narcon nasal spray for someone who is overdosing on heroin. And in today's world, unfortunately, that's something that you might come across at a park, you might come across at a school, you might come across at a movie theater. So if you carry something like this, it's just a nasal spray, someone's in distress or overdosing on heroin, you squirt a little uh, Narcon in their nasal spray, and, and they come back, you call an ambulance, and they take them from there. Easy to carry, something small, not very big, you throw in your bag. Also carry uh, water, just in case I get stuck out on something when I'm away from a store, away from a restaurant or something, I carry a bottle of water. And I also carry a snack pack, grilled cheese snack pack, because grilled cheese is the best. So I love these. Carry those in there, put them all in, zip it up, and I'm ready to go for work. In the sides here, I carry these little glow sticks like you've seen in Indiana Jones. You just snap it, shake it up, and it glows. Uh, my favorite movie, The Goonies, also had these. Carry these, put them where they need to go in the little sack there, and you're good to go. So there's three examples of emergency go bags that I carry. Remember, you can put whatever you want to in your go bag. It doesn't matter. Just make sure you can use it. Some good ideas, band-aids, gauze, tape, and scissors. Those are the major things you'll need in a go bag. If you want to put some uh, sterile water in there, that's great too. You never know when you might need to wash something out. So the only last thing I want to talk to you about was Good Samaritan laws. Say you're at a park, say you're at a, an event, say you're at a school, <clears throat> excuse me, and something happens and you need to react to a stranger being injured. Every state, every state in the union all has a good, some type of Good Samaritan law. So before I did this video, I looked at, Nash, at Tennessee's Good Samaritan laws. And I know that I need to do a few things to be qualified for that. I need to be acting voluntarily. I need to not be getting paid for what I'm doing. So an example of that is if you go to a hospital and the doctor's working on you, they're legally obligated to work on you. They're legally obligated to care for your, your injury. So that excludes them from the Good Samaritan law, but they're covered by other things. So not being paid for it, if I'm out at a park, I'm not being paid to care for you, so I qualify for that. I can't act in any type of gross negligence. That would be if I'm giving breath to someone who's breathing, that's, that's gross negligence. I should be able to see that they're breathing. And I need to be responding to a bona fide emergency, and those will qualify as providing CPR, providing the Heimlich maneuver, stopping any type of uncontrolled blood flow, or providing emergency breaths to someone that couldn't breathe. So as long as I'm doing all those things, I'm good for the Good Samaritan Law. I hope this helped. I hope you got a lot out of this. And remember, all these can be purchased relatively inexpensively. So be creative. Use your go bags the way you want. And make sure that you're prepared to care for someone you love or someone that might be coming up in a, a stranger situation. So thank you for your time. Look forward to working with you all in class. Have a good day.